What is that? We Why like, do I feel like, like I'm sweating today? It's really? not as cold in here. Usually I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I don't even need one. So yeah. The okay. studio is usually chilly, but it is like 95 degrees outside. No, and it's I like, like very warm. eight in the yeah. morning. Oh, it was cold in Alabama. Like that nice, oh, nice cold. Oh, like the crisp fall air. Yeah. I was in Boston too and it was like that. It, you know, it's like in Taylor Swift's uh, All Too Well. <laughs> Obviously, like just that's the what beginning, I think of. Like, doo, doo. <laughs> yeah, you're like, then, like, I'm here. The yeah. autumn leaves falling like. It's literally the music video. Something, something, something. It felt like that. It felt really good. Aaron, mm -hmm. I love the bangs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, was this like, you know, when people get bangs, it's like usually because they're like, like going through something. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, did I, was anything... just, I was just really bored. Okay. And I was like, what if I just cut bangs? You did it yourself? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. What if I just had someone else cut me bangs? Oh. What if I got bangs? Yeah. yeah. How, how long was it from when you made the decision to get bangs to actually getting them? Did you, like, have time like to think month. about? Oh, you thought about it. And yeah, you, like, I had been like, oh, do I want bangs? And then I started vocalizing it probably, like, a few weeks ago. I remember seeing that, yeah. And then I was in Massachusetts, so I had time to sleep on it because my hairdresser is in L L.A., and then I came here, I texted her and I was like, I'm having a crisis. Like, I just, I keep thinking about cutting bangs. She was like, okay, like, come in. So then yesterday I went, did the deed. Here we are. How long did it take? Um, I was there from like 4.15 until like 5.30. But oh. it's because she kept doing it. And then I was like, more, more. more. <laughs> it looks good. It looks literally like your hair should be that way. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah it looks you. really, really good. Is that why are bangs though like such a big deal? <laughs> Because I think it's like, yeah, you just got Because they can go hair. wrong quick, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And they really do change, like, a lot about someone's appearance. Like, Do you yeah. think I'm hotter or less hot? I think, you're, I think, <laughs> it, I think your look looks elevated. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, more, I look cooler. You look more elegant, I would say. Yes. That's sort of like, it's giving, like, Nicole Kidman. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was my inspo pick. Y yes. Nicole Kidman in Practical Magic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Matt Grippy DM. He goes, that's a wig. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, it looks good. He said, that's a wig. Yeah, and I'm like, it doesn't matter. That's like still hair. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant to your oh, photo. I was no, like, no, 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 no. When I posted a picture of Nicole Kidman, because I was like, like, this is the inspo I'm going for. And he was like, wig. that's a wig. And I was like, oh, okay, Debbie Downer. <laughs> well, I love it. Thank I really, you. Yeah. I, I, I wish, like, guys, we don't have like a bangs kind of thing. Not you just shaving kind your head, like a, I think. You can get bangs. Oh, you yeah. Can throw out a little mullet. Mullets, yeah. Mullets are like back. Yeah, eh. they're hot. But now I feel like they're kind of on their way out. Yeah. There was kind of this English schoolboy mullet that was happening for like the past two years, Ooh. Um, which is like a clean mullet. Yeah. yeah. If that I makes like sense. Mullets. I don't feel like we'd look good with mullets. I had an actual mullet when I was a child. <laughs> on purpose? Not a cute mullet. Like, oh, no. yes, I feel like it was on purpose. Like, my bangs were like this high <laughs> and my hair was longer in the back. Oh, no. <laughs> it was not Is this cute. like just a stylistic choice by your I parents? I could not tell you. I, I have feel to like guess. it was kind of big in the 90s. Yeah, I think you're right. For but girls I to kind of have like, kind of like a. <laughs> A thicker back and a shorter top. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say the back was like thicker, it was just longer. And then my bangs were like really short. <laughs> it was like not cute. I mean, I was cute as a kid. So but cute. I do I love know. those TikToks you where pick. you see yeah. a girl cut her own bangs and just oh. once she realizes she did it too short. Yeah, that's uh, that's why because like, they do it straight across and you're not supposed to do that. And also, you need to do it like cut it like here, like to your nose. If you cut it to your eyebrows, you're cooked. Right away. No, but sometimes oh. that's like the style. Like, well, like Arden, Grimes or someone. Like but Arden Rose just did hers like on TikTok. She cut it and it looks awesome. Yeah, but she knows what she's doing. Okay. I'm saying like the people who cut bangs for the first time on their own, these girls will like pull their hair down, they'll cut it, and mm -hmm. then they let go and it just like goes to the top oh. of their head and they're like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. A lot of people cut their own. I mean, I've cut my own bangs so many times in my life because it seems like something so easy because yeah. yeah. it's just like, oh, just do that. But you can't do it yourself unless and, you know what you're doing. And there's nothing you can do if you fuck up, right? No. Just, you just got to wait for them to grow. You're just sitting there with like little ants <laughs> on the top of your forehead. Yeah. I mean, oh God. My God. What's good, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Good Influences. Today, our theme, our topic of choice is partying. Woo! We like we like to party. Raise the roof, you know? <laughs> the roof is on fire. <laughs> Bring down the house. So like millennial of us. Yeah. The roof is on fire. <laughs> Uh, we don't need no water. Let, let, let it motherfucker burn. burn. Wow, is that the first time we've said motherfucker on this podcast? Maybe. Probably. Probably. Wow, we're so bad. Um. So yeah, we we I think we're all pretty experienced 
party years. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to talk about it. So let's just dive in. Let's, 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 uh, Got let's light list. this joint. Did you guys party in high school? What did you just say? I don't know. I would say let's blow this, this joint. joint. And then I was like, but that's leaving a party, right? <laughs> I if mean, you, let's you blow, this, let's blow, blow this, this joint. Blow this joint. Popsicle stand. Yeah. <laughs> let's jump, blow this pop stand. Oh, you said popsicle, popsicle stand? Popsicle, yeah. Oh, I said pop, pop stand. Oh, oh that makes Midwest. sense because pop. Put your, someone in my life says, let's blow this popsicle stick stand. Do you say that? <laughs> popsicle stick stand? <laughs> I've heard that. I don't say that. Let's blow this melted popsicle. Um. Okay. First thing I need to know about everyone is, do you remember the first time you ever tried, like, a sip of alcohol? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I was 17 years old. There's a Jewish holiday. Yeah, I was 17. Oh. I was a late bloomer. I didn't party. Your parents, like, never, like, when you were a little kid, were like, oh, yeah, go ahead and try it. Oh, no. Yeah. I had, like, little, like, kid sips. Yeah, me of too. Of course. Kid sips. Of what? Like, of like what? a beer? Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, you'd be, like, at the beach, and your mom would order a daiquiri. The daiquiris <laughs> were, like, the worst thing as a, a child. You would see that drink, and you go, that's like, the most delicious fun. thing. And they'd be like, yeah. uh-uh, it's a mommy drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't have it. Um, but I was able to, like, sneak a few sips. I had Did you like it? Uh, I would drink wine every Sunday. Ooh. You know, the blood of Christ. Um, oh, of course. And uh, did I like it? No. No, no, no. Not really. No. But Were you like, oh you my God. Were you daiquiri? I'm... Did you like it? Yes, but it you was always really like, tell. but alcohol, it's always when you're a kid, you taste it. You're like, well, that's the only thing I don't yeah. like is that stuff in it yeah. that I can't the alcohol. drink. alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Um, the poison. My parents would always, they only ever really drank in the house like beer or wine. And so I remember like one time I was like, I was probably like 12, 13, I don't know. And I was like, can I try it? And I drank a beer and I was like, this is disgusting. Like you guys are sick. How could you? It was like a Sam Adams too. So like not like a shitty beer either. How Boston of you guys. Yeah, Sam Adams. Um, And I was like, oh, you guys are disgusting. And then like three years later, I'm like binge drinking. Just playing flip cup. Let's go. (laughs) But I thought the same thing with beer and wine. I was like, this is repulsive. You guys are just sickos we had a guy called the beer guy and i never saw the man but he was some dude who would buy alcohol for teenagers and you paid him a little extra oh my god i I bet this dude was in his 30s and we got a number (laughs) through some private school kids and uh we called this dude and said we we didn't even know what to order and we thought well let's get a bunch of beer and let's get the cheapest one we can so we got a 30 pack of keystone Oh. And we got it like sent to um, our friends. Are we had to go to a park and we had to hide. And this guy pulled up and my friend got out, talked to him and came back with a 30 pack of Keystone. We go up to his house, hang out like in the game room. And we just drank that first beer. It was disgusting. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, no, we have to drink like 25 more of them. And we couldn't do it because we were all like. <laughs> this yeah. is good. <laughs> I mean, it's like borderline water. So then we went down to like the end of a cul de sac and we just threw all the beers up in the air, and just let them crash and just oh like we just made them like almost explode. like explode. Yeah, just explode. Yeah. And we threw and hid the evidence. Um, but that was like the first time. If I say rack, like if I was like a rack of beer. Yeah, like do you call it that? No, no, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've heard. I've like heard that. Case? That's what we call thirty packs. We're like, oh, we'll get a rack. Oh, yeah, thirty rack. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I would that. never say it, but I know what that is. That's what it's we like when you get it. the box with like thirty beers that uh-huh. you like put in your fridge, and then you take one out and then like the rest of them roll out. Though a good thirty pack of beer. When someone <laughs> is rolling in with a thirty pack of Bud Light. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I just love always knowing that there's like plenty Something of beer. In there. Just yeah. plenty of nice ice cold beer. There's a, just such a beautiful sight. Oh, I'll talk about Diet Coke. <laughs> when I have Diet Coke in the fridge, I'm like, fuck it. I literally will open the fridge. I'm like, did I like myself yesterday? <laughs> if there's no Diet Coke, I'm like, fuck, I hate myself. Did you you started your Diet Coke addiction after we did that video? Yes. That's when that's Lip- when it started. Yes. We did a Tea. taste test video of sodas, and after that, I was like, "Well, I'm on my diet coke binge." Wow. Yep. Okay, but what about were you we guys? drinking though, Carly? Um, in high school, first sip of alcohol. What did mm, we have? I didn't really drink, but I remember being at my aunt's house in Jersey, and my parents let me have like a small glass of red wine, which, Ooh. when you're that young, is like absolutely disgusting. Yeah. But I would, I, I would it's drink so it. Italian of them. It's so Italian. <laughs> I was drinking it, and I would like chase it with water because I'd be like, Ugh. <laughs> you're just, like chasing wine. Yeah. <laughs> I would take a sip and be like, <laughs> it was like disgusting. Cause I feel like red wine is also such a acquired taste. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people start with like 
a Riesling or something. Franzia. Yeah, Franzia or something. Sunset blush Franzia. Oh, yeah. yes. Franzia, some of that box wine. Oh, we'll get into that. <laughs> oh, what about you? Well, my parents did never drank anything ever, so there was oh, okay. never alcohol in my house. And I'm the oldest brother, so I didn't have an older brother that was like going out and drinking. So I think the first time I tasted alcohol, I was 17. It was oh the first God. time I drank and got drunk in the same night. It was the holiday of Purim, which is a Jewish holiday where you dress up in characters, which our last episode was Halloween. But there's a Jewish holiday where you dress up. And this isn't like the law, but the custom is that you're supposed to get so drunk. This is a one night a year Jewish holiday. You're supposed to get so drunk that you don't know the difference between the good guy and the bad guy <laughs> in the story of Purim. Come again. So if you go to like if you go to like like Lakewood, New Jersey or like Jewish areas on Purim, you just see Jews shit faced the entire night. Like that is Oh my god, how fun. They're just dancing in the streets and like singing and like, you know, it's Sweet. like a celebration. What, okay, what are you dressing up as though? Um it, it just like fun things. No, it's it's not like scary. Is it um, a witch? Oh, 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 or, or like Jewish things. Yeah, it's like or you know, like just a sexy dreidel. a sexy dreidel. <laughs> <laughs> like New York Nico on Instagram. I don't know if you guys like follow no. him on Instagram. He's like this New York creator and he always posts like because you'll see like religious Jews with like the beard and the hat, oh. but then they'll be wearing like, a you know, uh, it's not scary costumes because okay, it's not like they? Halloween. Go they'll they'll just like, I don't know, like Scooby Doo okay, or okay. like a candy Spider-Man. or Spider Man and Got like it. it's just this really bizarre holiday that like I feel it feels a little niche because not many people know about it. But I love so this. I grew up in a Jewish community. Community and it was I was 17 uh, senior year of high school so I never drank alcohol and my best friend was like and he was drinking he's like dude tonight it's Purim like you have to get drunk so he gave you some Manischewitz no he poured he made uh, uh they're called a screwdriver I think where it's oh, just orange juice. Why, is that, and orange juice? why is that always like the first drink that young people I, I think it's so easy to get vodka yeah and you it's can, so like, easy to have siphon... orange juice I yeah guess. and you're so used to orange juice just like what's just... in the fridge <laughs> But it sounds like the worst hangover of your life. Like throwing uh, that up. Also, gross. just like drinking that at night. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is a Binge morning drinking orange juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, so I had like probably like nine of those. Oh my in, god! In like an hour, it was, and then I'd never been drunk. I never had any mind altering conscious <sighs> experience before. So I went from like stone cold sober to like blackout drunk immediately. Oh my god! And then what you do on Purim is you'll like go into like a big van or a bus and you'll just drive around from party to party. And just Who's going driving like a driver, like they'll hire, oh, you know, okay, rabbi. Okay, okay. yeah, like, well, not the rabbi, but like, <laughs> you know, it's like a, <laughs> you'll just go around and like go into different people's houses, like the they'll rabbi. have they'll have like food and like you'll just go, you know, just oh, it, it, interacting with your community. But I was obliterated <laughs> and I just started crying because I was like so scared because I didn't know what was happening. Aww. And so I just spent the night lying in the back of the van like my parents are going to hate me for this. Like I felt so guilty that I drank so much and I didn't know what was happening. Oh my God. And I just spent the whole first night crying and I was like, I'm never, ever drinking again. And then I didn't drink again for like two years till I got to college. What? Yeah. So I, I have like college is really the first time I ever drank alcohol besides oh for that. God. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I started drinking like drinking <laughs> When I was a freshman in high school. Uh, yeah, about freshman in high school so, for me, sophomore or junior, yeah, junior sophomore yeah. year. I I was like, I could play a game of beer pong like oh. that. It was survival of the fittest. That's yeah, how, you had. You had a, <laughs> well, because my best friend, her sister was two years older than us, so her house was the house that both groups of friends would go to. And so then they were like, okay, these like young freshmen are fine. They can be here while we party. So then we just kind of like fit in with them and then they were the, they got us alcohol because they had fake ids yeah like, when you it have was the just, older the older yeah. group they can bring you in yeah it was great and it was great because we always stayed at her house right we would sleep over there because we're like oh mom i'm staying at Alyssa's house tonight and the parents totally cool with it yeah she would be like at her boyfriend's house and then they would just throw parties <laughs> oh wow mom, yeah so the okay so the mom was even there no but oh. sometimes like like, you know, on New Year's and stuff like that, it's like, oh, turn a blind eye. Oh, right. Yeah. We had ours. Yeah. I would party at one of my best friend's house and his dad was a lawyer. <gasps> and so he was very like, he didn't want, he knew his son was going to be partying. He was kind of like a no bullshit kind of guy sure. and goes, if you're going to party, I'd rather you do it here. Because if anything happens, I want to be able there to like protect you. Like he was totally. the type of dude who knew all of his rights. So if a cop ever came up and be like, there's a party. 
he would just oh, like yeah. freak the cop out yeah which is like such a like a privileged situation thing to say i acknowledge it but that's what it was so we always felt really safe we weren't gonna go drive around we had our situation yeah. so oh yeah that was nice we always got to just stay there but then there were times where we like went to other towns because then we became like friendly with people it's, i grew up in a very oh, yes. small town so then we we're like oh we're going to a party in holliston tonight oh did they party better than you no no one did <laughs> oh man dude the, pri no the private school kids <laughs> man those kids partied hard and so we would go over there and party with them and they were like really like rich kids and stuff and they would just like it was just oh, nice i love it their parents were never home it, it was, was a good situation. It's funny because it was during the time where most of my friends and like the, those people were all athletes too, like a majority of them. So we would, it was when like Facebook existed and you would take pictures during the parties and then you had to like put black oh. squares over all the beer cans if you were uploading it in case like. Or like red cups. Yeah. Or like your principal saw it or like it somehow got leaked to people so it was really funny there's so many pictures if you go through them on my facebook that just literally have black squares over yeah them. people would edit <laughs> them out yeah. oh yeah because you could get in trouble even so if, yeah. trouble. even if there wasn't even beer in your hand and it looked like that there was yep. beer in the cup yeah you could get kicked off the volleyball team yep. yeah and that was like a huge but isn't that kind of crazy though also we the fact that you were prove. taking pictures and then the next day, like uploading them, like picking an album and uploading the yeah. album. Oh. Like imagine doing like a carousel post of the party from last night of like just you drinking. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like now. Uh, yeah, like that's what With I'm black squares. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I loved that. Right, I would say go. I like, yeah, I partied really hard in high school. That's insane. <laughs> I did not go to one party my entire high school career. I don't think I did either. I, what? I didn't know. I mean, I'm sure there were, but like. I zero did never, never got invited, never knew that they were happening. Just like, I don't know. I guess, I guess I missed out, but I couldn't deal with the FOMO of not getting not to going. the party. I had, to, I had to get to the party because then like, <laughs> it, it bothered me so much knowing that there was like a party going down yeah. and you weren't there. Yeah. Did the cops ever bust a party? <sighs> No, I'd been in situations where the cops had like came and like kind of like shut it down, but not once did I have to like deal with the cop coming in and having to do like a whole breathalyzer situation. Oh my god! Some because oh, like that was always the biggest fear. It's like a a party would get shut down, cops come in, everyone sit down. You're not going anywhere. We're all getting breathalyzed and everyone's oh getting tickets. But um, definitely had a few situations where we had to like I don't know, kind of like interact with cops. One time, like. We would we would drive down to like a uh, uh, almost like a BMX like dirt bike course that was out in the middle of the <laughs> oh woods. God. It was known as the trails. And we would drive down there to go drink with all these Plano girls. We were having Bud Light Limes. Oh, hell yeah. That T.I. <laughs> so a BLL? Yes. <laughs> Sign me up. Which was a, a great entry beer because it had a little bit of flavor yep. and a bit of beer. Almost like <laughs> a Sprite. But it's like, like a LaCroix. You know, exactly. Yeah. It was a nice kind of gateway uh, alcohol. <laughs> And that so T.I. had that song, You Can Have Whatever You oh, Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that song had just come out that weekend. And we were like, my friend had a bass system. And we would have to drive pretty adventurously down into this area to drink. I had a great time. And then on our way out, my buddy's car got stuck like in a ditch. Oh, and we couldn't pull it out. And it got to a point where... Oh no. We had like there was so much commotion happening and like a cop ended up <gasps> coming and we had to like all sober up and act like it was no big deal. And the cop <sighs> wasn't really that suspicious if we were drinking. He was just more concerned that this car gets out before sunrise and a guy got us out of there, but that was like the hardest time of just like how are you officer? Great oh, yeah. and just like freaking out. Oh. That was a terrible time. That's horrifying. One oh, we got the cops always came. And but the craziest time it was funny because when they would come, everyone would be like, shut up and like turn off all the lights <laughs> in the house. And we would just like sit there and hide. And then like one person would go be like, what's going on, officer? As if they didn't see all the lights it, and hear the music yeah. 90 seconds before. No, 100%. <laughs> and one time we were at my friend's house and they showed up and they were like, we have this thing that's going to like break down the door. <gasps> and we were all so freaked out. <laughs> but every single party, like no one ever got in trouble. They were just like, okay, like, are you staying here? Like, go home. Again, like super small town. Like everyone knew everyone. But one time. Uh, Why would summer... they come then? Is, did someone like call the cops because yeah. the music was too loud or yeah. just underage drinking? Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean both. 
And then they would just be like, okay, like, are you staying here? Are you going home? Like, don't drink and drive. But then they weren't like arresting you, though. And like, no. Okay. I literally don't. I couldn't tell you a single person who ever got in trouble. Wow. Um, But I the the senior year of high school after we graduated, my parents would go away every weekend. So that's when I started throwing parties. We'd have like theme parties. I had like black light parties. Like it was so <laughs> fun. And my oh, yeah. next door neighbor was a cop. <laughs> And one time I was so fucked up and the chief of police showed up at my house <laughs> and I'm I'm underage still at this point. And he's like talking to me and I'm like blacked out being like, oh, well, Mike next door is watching the house. Like, we're cool. <laughs> like, we're good. Like, my parents are away, but Mike is watching us. And just like saying that, like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. And I was so drunk. And he was just like, OK, like, as long as everyone's staying here. And like at this point, like people were smoking weed, like it just smelled so <laughs> bad and like it wasn't legal then and he was just like okay as long as everyone's staying here and then just like left but wow. i was so Whoa. scared in the moment like shaking but also like what's up bitch like, <laughs> let's do it but yeah did you guys call them mips oh yeah minor in possession yeah oh, that was like that? that was a huge thing in high school it'd be like oh my god did you hear jackson got an mip <gasps> this weekend so that's like when you're caught oh. in, with the, in the possession yeah and of i don't alcohol know what... in your a minor yes i don't know what the consequence is i don't know if you have to pay like a fee a or something ticket and it's on your record that you have an mip as a <laughs> on your record as a, oh, as a right. minor but i think record. when you turn 18 your mip goes away oh. or 21 or 18 you think 18? Yeah, because oh, you're not you're a drinking. minor. Because at 20, you're still a minor for drinking. No, you still get an MIP if you're uh, not 21. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, No, but a handful of people would get MIPs, but that would be like if you were at like football <laughs> games and you got caught yeah. drinking and you didn't have an ID. Did you guys ever have a fake ID? Oh, yeah. No. I, had, I bought them from China. <laughs> Okay. And I, I had a, oh my God, this is actually a crazy story. Like your picture? Uh-huh. It was my picture, my real home address, but it, in a different state. Was it your name? Yep. You, how did you get it made? Like you knew someone, order off the internet or what? It was like a huge craze. Everyone was like, oh, we're like ordering these IDs. You could buy like two for $200 and you would order like five of them. And like, that would be the deal. From the internet? So, but yeah, would you, so me oh, and you would all get a my group girlfriends, together. Yep, yep. We, we all got them. Oh my gosh. And I, I forget how old I, I probably was probably 20 at this point, but it was when I was in college and we went to this bar. It was called Tommy D's. It was the best bar. And they were doing the ID check that night. Like they had a secret person there checking fake to oh, find fake like a light and mine got flagged and so they had a cop car outside <gasps> and you had to like walk across the street go to the cop car and of course i'm like fuck because it's illegal <laughs> yeah yeah. Yeah. And Finally. Be, uh, yeah and so i am telling you i was standing there for 20 minutes it was a male cop and a female <sighs> cop the female cop was checking all of the information and it was taking so long to register and thank fucking god it had all of my real information because it took so long that the female Wait, you didn't cop... confess and we're like it's fake i'm sorry no i was just like oh how's your <laughs> night going i was like chatting it up with this guy cop as the female cop was checking everything <laughs> a fake Did... id you uh -huh. gave the fake id to a well, she knew all the information. Too. I know, but yeah. you're giving false no, identification to a police I, officer. I didn't give it to him when I went into the bar. It yeah. got flagged by the bouncer, who was an undercover cop. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. So then I'm like with the officer at the car, and you're like, I'm a little buzz. We've been pre gaming before yeah. the bar, so I'm just like, oh well, whatever happens, happens. And <laughs> like chatting with him, and then I'm I'm telling you, it's 20 minutes. She literally was like, oh yeah, it's all set. Hands it back to me. And I'm, I think it's because all of my information was my real information, like my, my home address, my real name. So I like registered in the system, but it was like a Rhode Island ID or something. So I think it was just like got a little mixed up and she just oh. like didn't care at that point because oh all the God. information matched. <laughs> but I literally, he was profusely apologizing to me. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry that we wasted so much of your time. And I was like, oh, my God, don't even worry about it. Like, <laughs> no big deal. Like, you enjoy your night, sir. Like, I hope that you don't, like, have any risky business. Like, see you oh, later. You're like, yeah, you should be sorry. And then he, like, escorted me to the front and was like, she's all set. And I was like, holy wow. fuck. And, and all your other friends got in, though? No problem? Well, I was, like, one of the younger friends, too. So, like, also most people, none of my college roommates had 
fake IDs like I had. These were my high school friends. We got them in high school. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, Did you have to take your picture, like, at your yes. house, like, find a white wall? Yes. And be like, <laughs> no, literally, yes. You probably had to take it on, like, a digital camera, yeah. take the SD card yeah. out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, drag a file. That's exactly what we had to do. But, yeah, most of my friends at that time were already 21 or had, like, a real person's ID that had... Was older than them. Exactly. That they just got passed down. Yeah, yeah that's what we yeah. did. I never had a fake ID that was of me with my information. Yeah. I always had a real ID that looked like me. Yeah. From someone else. Yeah. From someone else. And I always felt better about that because yes. I knew it would scan and I knew that it would just everything would work. It'd be more believable. There wouldn't be a moment of hesitation going, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. Sure. This seems fishy. My best friend, though, he had a fake ID when we were in high school and it was Florida. No, it was Pennsylvania. And his name was William Dunlap. And he had to send in his picture. My friend was like a big like jock. He put on his high school letterman jacket in the photo. Oh, my God. I was like, dude, why are you wearing your high school letterman jacket in the photo? Which is like... Oh, it's such like a super bad thing. Like you can, no one's really yeah. gonna be focused on. Oh, what are you wearing? Yeah, but I was like freaking still. out. I'm like, we're gonna get busted. And we would go down to like Harry Hines in uh, Dallas, and those people did not give a fuck about <laughs> serving like underage kids. They yeah. look at your ID and be like, sure, yeah, buy alcohol like that. Sure. Pretty easy. <laughs> um, but I had one of my first times I ever had to use a fake ID. I didn't have an ID, but a guy I knew who was an upperclassman at UT was in the military or was like an ROTC <laughs> student and he had a military ID. Oh my God. And military IDs are like black and white, or they were at least in like 2010. Like it's really silver, it's not in color. So anyone who like looks at it, you really can't tell, like, this isn't you. Yeah. So. He goes, here, you can have my military ID. You should go out to the bars tonight with the friends. And I was going out with all the upperclassmen of UT. I'm like, all right. With a military ID. Yeah. Stolen dude. Valor. We go to, where was I? I was like, we go to Cain and Abel's. And the guy. That's the name of the bar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know exactly where it happened. Cain and, and Abel's. The guy looks at my ID and he like turns it around in the moment when I hand it to him. He turns it around. He goes, he looks at the bartender. He goes, hey, we got one. And I was like. What? And he goes, go over to the bar over there. And I was like, oh, shit. And I walk over to the bar. And the bartender goes, drinks on me. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Oh, my God. Thinks I'm legit in the military. And I do. I just like so like sweat I'm like I, that's like when you feel so, I would feel so guilty. I feel like I can never do that. I, oh, yeah. I, I can. I never did it again <laughs> but like i remember like going uh shiner bach please and he was like he poured me one and he wanted to start like asking me questions about like so my military. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm like you know what yeah. i gotta go I gotta go but they gave yeah, yeah. Uh, oh that's too soon to talk about, <laughs> oh my talk God. about it i know that's crazy i oh yeah that was like one time of like fake id guilt and then yeah, but I feel like it is easier to convince someone that you are the person on the real ID than convince someone that the fake ID is real. Is well, real. the thing that's tough about that is then they're like, OK, well, give me a credit card that has your name on it or give me like second proof of yeah. your oh, identification. That's interesting. That happened to me a few times because I had a, another person's ID. Like once she turned however old, she gave me her old I one. I feel like what I did because I had an ID from someone that was older than me. Um I think I made a Facebook account with his name and I was like, well, here's my Facebook account. You think I'm going to make up a Facebook account? And I had like a, okay, okay. I had like a, like a fake Facebook that I just pulled. I was like, I don't That's have any credit cards. That's actually smart to have. Because um, I do remember they started asking for like secondary proof. Uh -huh. But the thing is, if you remembered like the zip code and the address of the real ID. Yes. Uh, no, they're like, what's your sign? When's your birthday? That Yeah. What's your sign was That's one that I, I, when they asked me that, I was like, well, I don't know what my yeah. sign would be. Or anyway. your, what year did you graduate? Like you graduate yeah, is it would a big be so one. Tricky. Yeah, yeah, I memorized all the data I had. But I've seen so many people like when you go to a bar, like girls would hand a fake ID. It's like, well, what's your zip code? And they're like, yeah. Uh, 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 and the, like, if you don't know the information, you're screwed. Yeah, you but if you have, you have, have a real, you have to memorize that. Like, come on. But I'd rather. And also, like, my other thought was, like, if I have a real ID, if a cop takes it, it'd be like, oh, I guess I must have grabbed my roommate's wallet. I had no idea. I didn't even realize this wasn't mine. Like, sorry. And then it's, I'm not like trying to get away with like uh, uh, uh. fake identification. That was always so. Did you so ever use it at a liquor store or a packy, as we say in a Massachusetts? Packy? A packy? Mm -hmm. What is that? Wait. A liquor store. A packy? packy? Uh huh. Oh, a package mm -hmm. store. Um, Did you ever or use go it there? to the party bar in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we ever, I ever went to like a liquor store with a fake ID because yeah. I feel like that's too. Yeah. 
Like, like, you can just lock the doors. Yeah, you're just, you're <laughs> at that point, you're just, like, committing a crime. Yeah. Like, I'm going Give in here to... Co- yeah, I don't... I didn't mess with that. But, um, yeah, that was always, like, there was always someone, oh, yeah, we're getting fake IDs from China. And I was yep. just, like... You're going to give your information and a photo to get a Absolutely government not. issued <laughs> fake identification mm-hmm. mail. Like, I don't know. I was so scared. When you got it, did you have to like cut it out of something? I don't remember. I feel like they just or came in like a like, little box. But honestly. it was like a box of like with this disguise and like spoons. And it was at the bottom uh, yeah. of all the spoons. So I remember or my friend got one and she had to like cut it out of a bag, like a purse. Yeah. Basically. I feel like it was. I feel I honestly think it was just like in a box. I don't remember having to do yeah. anything crazy like that, but it was so long ago. Yeah. I can't remember. I, one, time, one time I had a friend, he was an upperclassman, who gave me like his old ID as like a gift. And I was like, awesome. So I could go around Austin with the fake ID. And But the thing is, he was from Austin. And a bouncer was just like, huh, you're Jeremy, huh? And I'm like, yeah, it's it's me. And he goes, I went to <laughs> high school with you, dude. Oh, no! <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh. And he goes... Oh, sorry, fuck. man. And I go, listen, I know Jeremy. <laughs> he gave me this I- ID. No. And he goes, if you can cheat. And so, but luckily, he really believed me. And it was true. Oh he my goes, God. if you can provide me a second proof of Jeremy's identification, I'll let you in. <laughs> so, luckily, Jeremy, Jeremy happened to be on 6th Street. I hit him up <laughs> and I go, do you have like anything on you? And he goes, here's like my 24 hour fitness. ID and I go right back to the guy and I have two and he goes oh, oh okay like wait he, so he knew you were in Jeremy <laughs> he knew I wasn't Jeremy for a second piece he of was it. just covering his ass an icon but, but yeah, the, I amazing. could tell the guy was friends with the guy he was more like pissed he goes why do you have my old friend's ID he oh thought my he, like, god stole it. yeah like they were homie yeah exactly oh, he thought I stole okay. it or <laughs> That I didn't know. Him. I didn't care that you were committing a crime. Like, well, I have two forms yeah. of ID. If that bouncer yeah. got caught, That's... I know some. I know someone. Well, we all know him. I won't say it just because I don't know if he'd want it out there. But his fake ID was someone from Vampire Weekend. Like he had given it to him or something. Yeah. Who? Which Rostam? member? Which member? Of it's not Rostam. I don't think it's Rostam. What? I was gonna say which member of Vampire Weekend. I was don't it? remember. I don't think it's like the main. guy. How many people are in Vampire Weekend? Just two. Four. Okay, it was somebody now in that band. five, six. I don't know. There's some new members. Yeah, it was someone in that band. It was someone mm. we knew from Vine. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. Oh. We got to talk about this after. Yeah. Um. Uh. Now let's. See. What about this? The gonna... ethics of if you walk up to a bar and majority <laughs> of the group. This is when we were like in college and stuff. If majority of the group can get in, but you have one friend who can't get in because they got busted for a fake ID, do you go and leave the bar or is that person on their own? They're on their own. I think it depends on like what the night was because we would just like everyone would end up at the bar anyway. So if like they didn't get in that one time, then it's like, okay, we'll just go drink at because there are tons of party houses. Yeah. Like, oh, we'll just all go back to the house and drink. But if it was like a theme night at the bar or like something crazy was going on, I feel like we'd be like, bye. Or it depends on how long you waited. (laughs) Sorry. Or it depends yeah. on... Yeah. If depends. you waited 45 minutes in line and then Katie's ID got busted and 19 of you were going in. <laughs> sorry, Katie. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we're going in. <laughs> Get an Uber home. Yeah. Figure it out. There's yeah. a Dairy Queen nearby. Like, just, <laughs> a dairy, there's a McDonald's play place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go entertain yourself. Have fun, Katie. Yeah. Because I would never make, like, pout and make my friends be like... Oh. Yeah. Like, what about me, guys? In. Yeah, it's uh, you guys would go in without me. No. It's so funny because I I had nothing like my I had a big friend group in high school, but like no one really drank. Like we just didn't drink or party. But um when we went off to college, like some of us were turning twenty one and other people weren't. So there was no fake IDs to be like, Oh, let's just bring everyone and see who gets in or whatever. It was uh, like if you were the last one to turn twenty one, it was like, Well, I can't go. <laughs> like, oh, well, I can't go until sad. August or oh. something. Yeah. So it's just funny, you know, like the Korea, difference. Korea, everybody turns twenty one the exact same day, or meaning you are allowed to drink the year of your 21st like year. 1st. So everybody oh. born in like 1992 or whatever, Once there, the... there's one day everybody born that year is able wow. to drink. Would it just be like January 1st? I, I, uh, no, it's a different kind of like legal day. It's I one think. day or like then they're good. From that day forward, anyone born that year. Wow. Anyone born that year. I'm pretty that's sure. So that's interesting. I, I saw a TikTok about that. That's like, yeah, South Korea. That's, that's interesting. Wow. Uh, the drinking age has also changed. I remember, I don't know if it was everywhere, but like 
I think in Iowa, it used to be 18. So, like, I remember my, my dad said, like, him and his friends would drive to Iowa and drink and then come back. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, drive. My, yeah. My, parents, my mom, when my mom grew up, it was, like, 18 also. Uh-huh. It was pretty recent that they changed it oh, okay. to 21. Like, I think it was in the 70s. It, yeah. I think it was, yeah, it must have been, like, 70s, 80s, where it became nationwide. But that's, like, a wild thinking that there was a time where it was state by state. Yeah. Also, yeah. imagine being, like... 20 the year that they changed the drinking yeah. age and you're just like, like well you can't drink anymore eight, you turn well, it, I you know. know then they're like oh I it's know. 21 more years. i wonder if they were like grandfathered in or i know something. did Ugh. you guys go to frat parties in college i didn't have fraternities yes. but i went when i visited other friends and i was like i'm gonna kill myself <laughs> hell yeah i went to frat parties <laughs> I've only been to them here in LA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't like, in a frat, but all my friends were in frats, and it was just it was where it was happening. As a guy, there's just so much strategy you need to have to go to one of those frat parties because that's the benefit is like you don't need an ID to go to the bars. You need the fake ID, yep. but if someone's having a frat party, boys would have to pay to get in, right? Uh, it's about who you knew, or or <laughs> this the worst term in the world is the ratio. Do you know what this is? Oh, like girl to guy. Yeah, which is just an insanely. Well, that's what they do at clubs here too, like at Hyde. Yeah, it's like universal. Like that. Yeah, at clubs. is that is that like an official rule though, or is it implied? Well, it's I like it's girls implied. are free and guys, you have to pay like fifty bucks to get in. Well, like at a frat, I would remember like if you want to go to the cool frat, you need to have like five girls for every guy that you're with. That's, that's what I. And they would literally <laughs> count like yeah. one, two, three. Okay, you guys are good. You can come in, and it's wow. just like. It, it is insane so i i hardly went but like i would always try and like sneak in through the back door and like you know oh you get God. you get caught and like literally thrown out and like no but i know zach he told me to come and then you know I, my partying experience is not i was not good at partying but it's uh you you went to oh, frat well, parties in college oh yeah a lot oh yeah you oh. seem like you'd be the type to get invited like officially. Well, yeah. it's just because um in our like living situation one guy would be in a frat and he would be like an upperclassman and be like yeah you guys are good you can come tonight so we'd always go and it would be like a fun theme you know it was like but i understand frat culture is very talk like yeah it's a worst. toxic partying environment but like on my end i had a pretty like positive experience with it if that makes any sense yeah but it's like what like we would do like fun parties where like they would get a bunch of snow and they would have like sledding and stuff. Oh, that's fun. They would build like have huge builds and stuff uh-huh. and it, I don't know, loved a good theme. Um I'm trying to think of anything crazy. One frat at UT got kicked off when the fire marshal came to visit. They shot a gun off in the house. <laughs> The fire mar- or a person or a- oh, like one of the dudes in the frat shot a gun off in On the house. On purpose? I guess so. At the so. ceiling, or I think so. I don't know too much of the details, That's but it happened insane. while oh I was at UT. Oh my god! Do you believe that? That's crazy. <laughs> Our houses in college, it was like, okay, we're going to the hockey house tonight, or we're going to the soccer house tonight. <laughs> there was also a house called Fish Market that used to be an old fish market. So I was like, oh, we're going to party at Fish Market tonight. Uh, but it was never like frats. Yeah. We just had like off-campus housing is where we. <laughs> we went. had a lot of wrestling parties at. Uh... <laughs> Like in Jello? Yeah, because the president of the wrestling club was one of my roommates, so we would host oh wrestling God, tailgates. Loved. And uh, but I hosted so many parties my senior year. I loved Me too. to host. It was the best. I had a really good house for it. Ours was called the Murder House. Ours was called we Mount Rushmore. Did yeah. you ever get a, like anyone that you knew actually get arrested or like yes. a party get shut down that you were at where the cops came and like? someone got arrested or at least Probably. a ticket or something i remember being at a sorority oh, for a ticket or... just That's... for like walking oh. with an open container oh. and i was underage mip mip yeah. but that was so annoying. i was like are you fucking kidding me i'm literally turning 21 in like a week <laughs> and they gave you a ticket for walking uh-huh. with open container we were at a party and mm. he just like saw me he's like are these yours yeah I was like, okay get a life Did... <laughs> i got i got a ticket in newport on the fourth of july Oh my god. Like my first year in LA, I went and met up with my friend who was a senior at USC. I knew nobody out in LA. He goes, It's my birthday, it was fourth of July. Let's go down to USC. We were down by the beach and we were drinking, but you can't drink in on the uh, beach in yes. Newport. But we were like having like fireball in a cup and oh these god. cops pull up on ATVs like Oh god. And he goes, uh, what do you what are you uh drinking in that cup? And I go, Oh, just some Coca-Cola. He goes, Okay. Um this, he was like, this can go two ways. Or like, oh, oh God. Here we go. He goes, I can test right now these uh, testing kits. There's no way and, that's and allowed. And I can test if that's alcohol. And if you're lying to me, not only am I going to write you a ticket, you're going to have to pay an additional fine for using these testing kits on this alcohol. 
Uh, and I go, fine, it's Fireball. And he goes, <laughs> he, goes he goes, now why would you lie to a police officer? Why, and I'm why like, are you driving yeah. around on a scooter trying to get people on yeah. the beach for like, drinking? Were you young once? Yeah. What do you mean? And I just said, like, I just moved here uh, to L.A. I, I don't I don't know the rules. I'm sorry. And uh, he wrote me a ticket. And then he goes to How the... How much was it? You know what? I don't know. Probably like 500 bucks. Oh, but Jesus. guess what? I never got it. You never, never got it? Got it. I was really nice and apologetic with the officer. And then he went to, like, a couple of the friends in my group... And sorry, accusing them of underage drinking, because I'm pretty sure one of the girls was underage. She mouths off at the police officer. He arrests three of them. Oh, my God. And I think because of that, he was like, yeah, that one kid was just kind of like. A good guy. Yeah. I never got, I never got the ticket. Wow. In the mail. So. Wow. Maybe that's that. I feel I think like mine was like $150, and I was like so broke. Like, senior year of college. Yep. I was like. Oh my god, you might as well have just taken me to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'd rather go to jail. Yeah. Like <laughs> Do you guys ever have a uh, like post party like depression? Are you like you miss the night before so much and how great it was? Oh, it's definitely happened. Um, all right. And I I I get that. I used to get it really really bad and I don't know. And I'm only saying this like out there cuz I think some people do feel like that where they're like everything was so great the night before and then it's no longer happening mm -hmm. and then they feel like that they weren't really present throughout the party mm. i just always recommend when the party's happening to remind yourself be in the moment yes <laughs> tell people how glad you are that it's happening because you won't feel that bad about it in the morning that it's gone if that makes sense yeah I found a lot of peace with that <laughs> and now i know that i've Did lived you used every to party. wake up in the morning after parties and be like Ugh. Yes, I, so I, mean, I, oh, I don't feel like I was really aware through it. It just like went, just went by. Right. Yeah. And I think parties are a fun time to like be alive, be present. Yeah. For me, it was. I would so say, fun. but if anybody who does enjoy them but feels like they're not really treasuring the moment, try to make it a habit of while it's happening to like vocalize how much you're enjoying that this is happening. Yeah, it's a great way to live. Can I think it's like parties? Kurt Vonnegut. He says, you know, every once in a while, just take a look around and be like, if this isn't nice, then I don't know what is. Mm. <laughs> and you're saying kind of. So true. Uh, those toga parties. <laughs> Bet those were the ones. <laughs> toga parties. I never even, I've never been to a toga party. Oh, I, Actually, we had toga day like in high school <laughs> for like drug free week. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know, it was like spirit funny. week or something. Um. Okay. I feel like a little basic. What's everyone's like go-to beverages? Where what's did we start? What's your drink of choice? Ooh. What was your gateway drink? A Negroni. Drink? That voice Spagliato. on TikTok. Well, I do want to say first, Aaron already knows this. I just think you guys will think this is funny. I was so inexperienced with drinking. <laughs> oh, my God. That my, the first drink I ever ordered at a bar for like my 21st birthday was an apple teeny. <laughs> oh, my. I know what you mean, though. It like, does sound delicious know. when you're a non-alcoholic or when you don't drink. <laughs> it, an an apple teeny sounds delicious. Did the guy it, laugh at you when you ordered that? <laughs> or did he no. go, oh, okay, I'll take that down? No, he was just like, okay, I don't think he knew it was my birthday or anything. An yeah, apple yeah, teeny. An apple teeny. <laughs> <laughs> Is it apple juice and... No, oh. it's like a green, like... Um, I don't really know. It was like really good. Syrupy type yes, thing. Yes, yes. It was like, yeah, it's green and it's beautiful and it tasted good, but like nothing <laughs> you want to drink like four of for an sure. Apple teeny. Did you have four you just I'd, kept drinking them no i had a couple but I another was like, round of teenies please I was just so like, <laughs> <laughs> for me and the girls we're gonna do another teenies. round of teenies okay but now like our, okay our go-to drinks if we're at a bar yeah i don't i feel like it, i like a margarita oh at a bar i'm trying to think a yeah, margarita restaurant. can count. You can get a margarita at a bar. I know, bar. but I usually don't get a margarita at a bar. I usually I at like a restaurant. At like a, yeah, yeah. A restaurant. So we've got to be sitting down. I think yeah. it goes through phases. Like early on, I liked IPAs because, and I think you also like IPAs because you get more bang for your buck. Mm. Like for every one IPA you drink, you get as drunk as if you were drinking two beers. And they're uh -huh. a little slower. Yeah, you don't, you don't chug through them as fast, so you drink less of them. But, you know, so IPAs are good. But then also the on other nights you're like I want to drink a lot so I just want to order light beers because it's going to be a long day so you do yeah. light beers so beer guy uh, usually beer yeah there was like a long time ago like probably five years ago me and my roommates were like we were drinking way too much beer and we were just like trying to get healthy so we were like what's the healthiest alcohol you can drink <laughs> tequila tequila it turned out is oh, the healthiest is. because oh. it's the least amount of calories. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's like the, the, the fermentation of it, and it's the least amount of calories. So we were like, and oh, it's let's a just bit of wow, a stimulant too. 
Is yeah, it? it's a different because um, it's like I wouldn't say classified stimulant, but it's the effects of it aren't like a depressant like a lot of other oh. liquors are. There's something it's it there is like a uh, people feel a different. little bit more because it's from a different, yeah. it's a different thing. high or it's okay. a different yeah. drunk. like like beer is from barley and which is like wheat and then tequila's uh, from agave. Yeah, tequila's from agave. So it's like a different fermentation, whatever. Yeah, fruit. So we looked it up and we're like, oh, so let's just stay drinking tequilas Ugh. and like let's do a tequila only alcohol and we'll you know be healthier, maybe get less hungover. <laughs> and it turned out that all we would do is drink the same amount of liquid but instead of drinking it as beer we would drink it as tequila oh. we did it for one weekend and then died so we were like well, this is yeah. the worst idea we've ever had oh my god um was it a cheap tequila too probably yeah uh, it was bad yeah so sure, now fine. gold tequila oh yeah a lot of people are allergic to like dark tequila oh yeah the like yellow one yeah yeah, yeah. I when uh, I first started drinking, I was a big beer girl. I didn't really I drank like hard alcohol, but I would never really buy it like Burnett's or Rubinoff. Like we would get that. What is that? Shitty vodka, like ten dollar <laughs> handle of vodka. Like Pop plastic off. You bottle. Used to, like party like crazy, Eric. Like uh, you would like you were, like a Bud Light queen. Yeah, no, I loved beer. Like I remember in high beers. school, we would we would get beer balls because it was like it's like a mini keg basically, but it would hold fifty beers, so it was great because you didn't have like a ton of cleanup so i only drank beer in high school and then when i got to college bush light was my like full beer of choice <laughs> oh my god wow. we would get the tall boys hell oh, yeah get the 18 pack of tall boys oh. it was like 11 dollars. me and my friend Brittany would share it and it was just the best love to be ll oh we were just beer. Bud Light yeah we were just <laughs> beer girlies and then now i like strictly at bars will order like a moscow mule or a vodka soda yeah, you kind yeah. of like completely transitioned mm -hmm. from your your beer days. I now I don't drink liquor at like all. zero. Yeah, yeah. big beer guy uh, at all. Um, because one, I don't know. I kind of I'll finish uh liquor way too fast, even if it's a cocktail. That's, yeah, it just I because I always got to keep busy. You're and used I just... to drinking whatever the same amount of liquid is. So if you just replace the beer. With something stronger, you're just gonna drink that much more. Yeah, it'll that. be severely hungover. Yeah. Beer, I really don't get hungover with at all. Oh, yeah. And um, do you get like beer poops though? Occasionally, I feel like whenever I'd like finish a night with beer, I would always have like the worst poops. <laughs> but I it guess, doesn't really happen yeah, to me. Like, yeah, hard sure. Alcohol. Like probably for one day, but like it's never like a fest, like affected. Like I feel it's like, like nice my cleanse. digestive. Yeah. Not like a whole event. <laughs> I guess I'm always trying to make sure I'm like eating a lot. Uh, whatever. I'm... You're also very good about when you're drinking uh, beer to put a water in between every beer or so. Oh, every three or four drinks, I'm always going and just chug. I'll have this like moment when I'm like drunk where I'm like, I need to drink as much water as I can. And it actually <laughs> ends up like helping my longevity of the yeah. night. And it's such a good instinct that you have. I have the opposite instinct where it's like, oh, I'm pretty thirsty. Let me get another beer. I'm oh like, God. I feel dehydrated. Let me get another beer. And then that's why hangovers are just the worst. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you ever catch me like, at Mike's party, I'm over by his water cooler just like oh, that's good. having a couple glasses of <laughs> it's water. It's such a good instinct that I don't have. But, um, I but if I were, oh, so then I had like a big like IPA phase. Um, but I've kind of gotten over that. And honestly, for me, it's just like Bud Light. There is nice. nothing more than I want. It's just one of those nice tall glasses. Oh, a 16 ounce Bud Light. I just know what it's going to taste <laughs> like. I'm just sick of all the flavored seltzers and everything. Yeah. And also twisted tea. Mm. I need to try one. Oh, no, I've no, never no, had a no, twisted no, tea. No, no, no. That's like join the club. <laughs> it is one of the best. A it's... good old twisted tea on a summer day. Yeah, um, I yeah, it in really college good. like we got twisted teas all the time, and I'm pretty positive that's what caused my acid reflux because uh -huh. we were drinking them like they're they taste like candy. In a way, I mean, compare. I've tasted a lot of like sweeter drinks than well, that. No, it's twisted not that it's sweet, but it's like, like tea. No, I just mean like it. You wouldn't know. Like you're not like drinking it, being like, "Oh, I'm about to get fucked up." You're just like, "Oh, I'm drinking a nice little beverage." I just like it that it's not like heavily carbonated too. Yeah, yeah. Compared to like a lot of like beer and are seltzers people still stuff. ordering like the flavored seltzers at bars? Like, are people going and getting white claws? At I the will bar? never buy a white claw at, at a, bar a bar because that's a, a price that 
Yeah. Because I'll be like, five bucks. You're like, for one White Claw? Like, I can drink that like but that. But it's $7 for a Bud Light. Yeah, it's like the same it's, thing. It's literally more expensive <laughs> compared to buying a 12-pack of Bud Light. Yeah, it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> no, mathematically, <laughs> so I'm looking the at drunk it. drunk mathematically, it doesn't add up. That's fair. And I think he prefers a Bud Light. He's like, I'd rather spend the money on the Bud yeah, Light. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess. Do any of you have, like, trauma drinks that you can't ever touch anymore? Like, did you ever have a night where, like, something was totally, like, ruined for you forever? Oh. Shots of tequila, like, I absolutely have to say no to yeah. at, at part uh, at bars. Everyone's like, Matt, shots. I'm like, no, no. Why are no. shots so bad? Because tequila, it will hit me and I could be on the verge of like throwing up, throwing yeah. up in public. Shots are the, yeah, they're the worst. Yeah, have... It just. Well, some of them are fun. Like, yeah, you I don't get, like a little them. green tea shot. I don't know. I love a shot. If so... The thing for me is <laughs> I, I love have a green tea shot. Absolutely. Yeah. Or like a wait, like just straight green tea. Oh God, no! <laughs> it's, it's like a it's, yeah, it's like a mixed shot. Like I love in my age now, like I love a mixed shot. When I was in college, they had a special. It was like a Soco lime shot. It was three bucks. Got it all the time, and it was disgusting. But I did that literally. I would walk into the bar, be like, "Get me five. Oh my God, <laughs> Woo! get me um, five. But tequila is a trauma for me. I had a really bad hangover in my like post college adult life. It was the worst hangover of my life and like wasn't able to drink it for a year. But if someone offers me a tequila shot, like I'll do it still. It's really troubling. <laughs> we should do a drunk episode. Oh, absolutely. We record at 10 in the morning. Well, we can, we can do, do it really? like later in the day. I mean, I'm down. You've never gotten drunk at 10 a.m.? 10 in the morning. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> we can drink Fuck screwdrivers. We, we, yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. We, we take a party bus here. <laughs> Literally, do not talk to me with so the good funny. time. That would be so. We could have someone film it. Yeah, that would be yeah. a funny video. Oh yeah, um, you, you have like your Moscow mules. Like, <laughs> I have my own Apple Zini, no, Charlie should, Zulu. No, we should get a oh keg. We should absolutely get a keg. A keg in here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. We? I am like, dying to. Ha you went to one recently where there was a keg, and I was like so envious. I was like, I want to be there right you now. You want to go to a keg like, party? The joy that kegs give me, and all the things that you can do, like a keg stand. I saw you do a keg stand. Yeah, it wasn't that great. I'll be Mine? honest. Yeah, it was. You, the, <laughs> keg, Aaron, the keg had just started. A keg oh. stand's impressive halfway through the party because yeah. half of it. If you're doing a keg stand at the beginning of a keg, no. good luck. That yeah. is one of some of the coldest. Have you ever done, like, have either of you done keg stands? Mm -mm. Okay, we gotta have a keg party. I, I feel like, why have we not had a keg in my house before? We need to do a keg have party. No, I want to do like that. a full college themed party, like all of the games. I'll do that at my house. Okay. We'll do beer pong, we'll get a keg. Yeah, we have a tailgate. Pool, pool games. What are some of your favorite drinking games? Oh, flip cup all yeah, day. Flip cup is but you fun. gotta have tons of racks. Like, like on deck because yeah. sometimes people at parties Four will keg. be like let's do flip cup and i go there's not enough beer there is not you are going to just all the alcohol can go away like that when you totally. play flip cup but flip cup all day i love the camaraderie i like I it's an cup. easy thing you can uh <laughs> you just, flip, you just it. flip it it's just it's a fun time way too much pressure so too much, much pressure, pressure. You're, when you're on like the end of the line and it's like you have to drink and and you just can't oh. i just, just like, gotta be good and, and there's there, there's so many people in that line looking at you too i have performance anxiety <laughs> i will never play flip cup i um, hate it oh we play we gotta game. work on that yeah <laughs> we'll practice before the big I, event i like beer pong love okay and my thing I, I think people do this now is like i hated in college when like you would actually have to drink at like the beers in the cup oh yeah oh i loved that oh, like, but then the ball, the ball falls so... on the floor and no, then they you just, just you put you it in play the water, water cup you do, the, the, you i do know water i water cup only anybody I, who's playing still with beer in, in the, the cups no people still do that all the time in college i loved doing that college with beer in the cup and then yeah. you drink out of the cup well because it was half of the game because you have to finish the beer before you can like take your next shot and then you because i feel like so many people just like sip whereas like when you have it in the cup you're actually like drinking yeah and being yeah. forced to drink yeah yeah can i brag about something sure you guys probably will not care i just want to get this off can my I chest sure. last time i played beer pong it was also one of like the first times i played beer pong in a long time probably sure. like a year or two I was at Friday Beers. You know What's Friday that? Beers? They're like uh, almost like Barstool Sports. Oh, okay. They're the they're like a big like meme uh, in like college and sports culture. I was at their headquarters and I was playing in the beer pong oh. uh, uh, tournament and we were one of the final games. 
and I and we and me and Will Donnellan we sunk it in both into the last cup <gasps> on the I, same I turn. Mean, it was I could not describe to you how beautiful feeling. of a feeling it is. <laughs> yeah. It was just like we to are to win like, the game yeah. in the Friday Magic. beers headquarters. And so it just felt good. I just oh, speak yeah. about it with, uh, with great fondness. Oh, yeah. Anyways, let's move on. You to... know what's funny <laughs> is I never called it beer pong until I moved here and like heard people calling it. What's what the did Boston, Boston be... name for beer pong? <laughs> we called it Root. Beirut. <laughs> I have heard that name before, too. Yeah. Root, Beirut. It like started kind of filtering it in college. We we're like, oh, no, it's Root. Like we call it Root. Beer pong. Beer pong. What is that no. from? Beirut. No idea couldn't tell you that's just what we call it like oh, oh you want to play root there was a game though that was my favorite game it was called triathlon it's a little unhinged you'll like it because there's flip cup but so wait i think wait go on so you Explain. set up like a long table yes. and then you have one cup on one of the corners then it's flip cup three flip cups in the middle and then one cup on the end so you first start you bounce the ball into the cup drink it then you do the three flip cups oh. this is one person and then you run back to the end of the table and you have to sink the individual oh my god yeah. i love that it is that's it Yes, but you... It's a relay? Yes, yes, but you have, like, teams. Yeah, and Love it's, like, it. team... It yeah. is oh, man. It's so much fun. the best game. Like, we played this in high school. It was so much fun. We were obsessed with it, and, like, I just need to share that tidbit of information. Like, go play with your friends. It's <gasps> so fun. I hate... I love that. I hate <laughs> the one game where you have to, like... Everyone's in a big circle, and you have to, like, bounce it into your cup and then pass it, and then War, someone can stack. Oh. The, like, the cups... Start stacking, yeah. and then you're trying to bounce it into the tall cup. Uh, I feel like the, what's the one? That's I hate that game. War? I love like, that game. And there's like, one big cup in the middle, and if you lose, you have to drink the big cup. And it's like disgusting. Yeah. Fuck uh, that. Like, yeah. No, that's not <laughs> fun. Like, I don't like that. Fingers? Like. <laughs> it, no, it was a game. There would be a bowl, so you'd have a huge bowl, and everyone, no matter what they were drinking, would pour like a portion a of their into, alcohol yeah. into it, like and you'd put your can. finger on, and like the finger master would be like, "Okay, like say a number." Or like oh, pull your finger off or keep it on, yep. and then whoever was like the last one had to drink the whole bowl. Ew. Yeah, that is just oh disgusting. My God. <laughs> Different kind oh of God, island iced tea. I know, but the I person who proposes that game just wants to like live on the edge. Like, why do yeah, you like, want to get do... fucked up? Yeah, like, people yeah. just want. That's the point of drinking games is to get as fucked up as possible, as oh. quickly as possible. I like card games when you're drinking too. Like if someone has a good card game, like more like, with a deck of Cup. cards. Yeah, King's oh, Cup. Yeah. How do you play that one again? Like Every never have I a... ever waterfall three skirt, me. Skirt. You pick it. Okay, so there's like a <laughs> see. There's a table. You put a yeah. deck of cards around a can of beer. Yeah. And then each card you pick up has a meaning. Two like, is right. you. So three you have to me, drink. Four, three, four, five eight. guys, six chicks. Yeah. And then like whoever seven. pops the. What, tab. the tab on the beer can has to then like chug it. Love that game. Yeah, me too. Thank I you for reminding me. I haven't played to. in so long, yeah, but that's, that's like when it's like. Almost more luck than skill. It's you fun. would really like up and down the river. That's a really good card game. What is oh, that? Oh wait, or is that fuck your or ride the bus? Riding yes. the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yes. they're the same thing. I can I can fucking hang during that game, but I don't like that game. <laughs> <laughs> What's the game? But I feel like you would like it because it's just luck. You basically just get like cards put in front of you. Like there's it's a dealer. It's almost like this drunk kind of solitaire thing. And then so it's like um, they'll put it. a card in front of you, and then the card dealer will then be like, okay, is it lower or higher than this card that's on the table? And then you guess, and if you get it right. You move on. If you don't, you drink. And then um, I think at the end, it's like three cards. And then it's like, okay, is it going to be outside of this or in the middle between these two card numbers? And it's kind of just like that. Interesting. It goes on for a little while. Wow. It's I haven't played drinking games in so have you, long. Have you ever played like those like song drinking games where it's like oh. ACDC Thunder? Like thunder dun, 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 dun. you have to like drink and do a waterfall <laughs> until the next time they say thunder and then the next person has to drink Wait, power hours oh, oh my god power hours wow power hours Would were the best die to do a power hour you just search on youtube yes power hour compilation do like yes. an early 2000s yes. 2000s pop guys we gotta do it and it's one minute and just during that one minute you just take a shot of beer i That's remember it. i know yeah sip. That's power hours or are Edward great. Forty <laughs> I have oh that on Edward Forty Hands. Real I have Edward Forty Hands. I hate. Did you ever do that? Oh yeah, I Duck did. Tape. One time I did it driving back to college. <laughs> <laughs> my friend was driving and I just had two forties. Oh my god. <laughs> we had to stop a few times. Oh I knew about a kid god. in college who was running from the cops one time. He tripped and fell. <gasps> And it like all went into his hands. Oh, Running from the cops. Oh, the I cops loved a like, 40 hand. Oh, but it was so cold uh, that you couldn't use your phone. 
Yeah. And then, like, if you had to go to the bathroom, yeah. you're like... Oh, yeah, how the fuck would you go to the bathroom, right? You just gotta drink it quick. Can you imagine if someone right now said, I'm gonna duct tape two forties to your hands until you finish drinking them? I'd be like, hell <laughs> yeah. I loved funnels. Oh, my God. I love to party. You, I, <laughs> no. you like drank out of a funnel? For, what? I yeah. Be, like a beer bong? Never done that. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, man. God. You guys are, like, real... Oh, you gotta do the trick, too, where you, like, get a little nose grease. Ooh. So that what? it makes the foam go away. Whoa. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, well, I feel like we're unleashing this glory. shotgun. Oh, all the time. Oh, I can't. I see people shotgun. shotgunning, like, um, yeah. like, Star white claws and stuff now. And I'm like, like no, Tristan no, no. will shotgun a white claw yeah. all the time. That's no. insane. A white claw, Strictly I don't know. Beer. I'm always scared I'm like going to cut my lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. It's just, I don't know. It always just gets on your shirt. But, <laughs> but it's fun. God, it's fun. Funneling it's got to be like one, towards like the end of the night. Mm-hmm. Where you don't care if it you're messy. Oh, I'm trying to think of like other like games or things that I do. Or I love watching like, oh, watching a movie and be like, oh, drink every time that this happens kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Power Hour is every, like the song changes every minute. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. And you get way more fucked up than you think because you think, oh, 60 shots of beer. Totally. But what is it, like five or six beers in an I hour? it's like three or four yeah but it's in one hour so it's it yeah. is drinking pretty quickly no it's so fun let's do that before an episode <laughs> a power like, hour do a beer. power hour before an yeah, episode on, yeah on our way but here on our line. party bus <laughs> i will do this <laughs> you're down i thought aaron you like kind of stopped like, like well I'll never pass up a party bus moment also it's beer like i i do like crave beer every once in a while Okay. I lo- oh, that like brings me back. <laughs> brings I me feel back. like we're I... like unleashing this like old version of you that's like trying to come out and you're just yeah. like, yes, the party. The only thing, like I would still probably be that way if I didn't feel so terrible afterwards. The like, hangovers, the hangovers are... are too yeah. fucked up now. Um, but I, I do much better with beer. Like I can drink a lot more beer. Yeah. I also Hell can yeah. just like still drink a lot in general. Oh, I just want to hear that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it sounds so good. Pouring it in a glass, it's so cold. Should have brought yeah, some in our little it. coolers. Oh, I know, but it's should we hire a bartender so early. Too, to just be making us drinks for the whole episode? <laughs> yeah, could. that'd be hilarious. Just right here, just <laughs> I'll look into it. I actually have to contact a party bus company anyway, so I'll see what the availability All is. All right. Like. All right. <laughs> We're what, doing it. What will the episode be about? <laughs> Drunk episode. We could just talk. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I feel yeah. like alcohol does just make people like let their just guards down chat. and things Perfect. are just more fun. It's going to be a oh, lot I'm of, so uh, we got to cut that. We got to cut that. <laughs> keep oh, it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'll be fighting. No, you have to keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have uh, fan fan submissions? Yeah. I'm just seeing if we have anything left to cover that I wrote. What's your drink of choice? Yeah, we did that. I don't know. I just keep, can't get that out of my head. Have you ever ran from the cops? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can go into listener submish. I'm, my face is hot. Okay. Hi, y'all. I have the most mortifying party experience. When I was in high school, I decided to throw a huge party whenever my parents went out of town. Obviously, since I was in high school, I could not handle my alcohol. During the party, I decided I needed to go poop, but I fell asleep on the toilet. I woke up in the morning to multiple people telling me I had fallen asleep on the toilet and completely shit all over the ground. (laughs) My fake ass friends also told our entire friend group I actually wanted to crawl up in a hole and die. Oh my god! I feel like we get a lot of poop related. (laughs) Yeah, fan submissions. Have you? I I think it just opens up a bigger thing. Like, have you ever like blacked out where you don't remember something that's like so crazy? Like, well, the first night me, Aaron, and Matt hung out. We got we were drinking. Aaron got so fucked oh! up. Aaron <laughs> got this. so fucked up. I don't know if you've heard this story. No. And Aaron and I were sharing a room. It was at Brendan McNerney's apartment. I think you lived there. No, I don't think you lived there yet. You're but staying. But I was also kind of crashing there as well. Yeah. yeah. And I remember the middle of the night. I hear Aaron get up and open the closet, and I was like, "What are you doing?" And she was like, "I have to use the bathroom." And I was like, "The bathroom's literally like across the hall." And she was like, "No, I have to use the bathroom." And I just hear like sprinkling just pitter pattering <laughs> sprinkling in the closet and she comes back to bed we fall back asleep and in the morning we realize that she peed like i think it was on my suitcase yeah. <laughs> like she peed on my suitcase well, and Matt's... carly's clothes were wet yes and Matt's she was clothes like, were wet yeah, you, wet she peed on my jacket yeah yeah and then um <laughs> so that was like the one mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. and we wore the clothes the next day we we're like i don't care they really did it didn't smell bad. it didn't smell at all i was like are you sure you peed on this it did not smell like anything 
Oh my that god. That we were like, whatever. Yeah. Oh, I did stuff like that. Oh, I once blacked out and then killed a guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like okay. What? <laughs> yeah. He's so fake. Oh my god, I blacked out way too many I times. I fainted at a party one time. <gasps> fainted? Because you were fainted. so drunk? Um, no, actually, I think I was exhausted. I had hosted a, a speech tournament um, at my high school, and I had been up since like 6 or 5 in the morning, and it was a really exhausting day. And then by the time I got home, it was around 10, 30, 11 at night. And I remember I had a cough, like I started having a little cough coming on. And I took a sip of cough syrup, go over, just to think it would reduce my cough. I go over to my friend's house who's having a huge party. They're all drinking, playing beer pong and everything. Then someone has a bong. I go out and I hit a bong. Oh my and God. And then I start drinking like some beer in the beer pong game. And then the last thing I remember is someone's like, oh, someone made a pizza. And I look over and the next thing I know, <laughs> I am on the ground and everybody looking down at me being like, oh, that's, so that, that's how crazy. You always see it in movies where someone yeah. faints. Never in my life have I. This was the only time in my life I've mm -hmm. ever fainted. And I look up and everyone's looking down at me and I go, oh, my gosh. And I, I remember standing up instantly looking at the entire party because we're still in high school yeah. and then going, I am so sorry to everybody. And I touch the back of my head and there's blood. Oh. And I look down and like there's blood oh. on the um floor. On the floor. Um Did so you... I fainted out of just exhaustion. Did you keep partying? No. Oh. No. And then <laughs> well, luckily my friend's mom was there. She was hosting. She goes, Oh my gosh, sit down. And everyone's like, You probably have a concussion. You can't sleep or whatever. But I remember also being like right after I fainted. I remember being like, just really like, back I'm alert. fine, yeah. I'm fine, and and yeah, it was really spooky and scary. Yeah, oh that, my like, god, I just fainted like that at a party. That was wow. not listening to my body or anything because I was just young and stupid. Yeah. But um, yeah, cool. that was a pretty scary time. Just like looking up at everybody. I feel like that's like any time, like when you black out, which I did frequently. It's so weird, like just not remembering stuff. Yeah. yeah. You're just like, oh, God. I never really like blacked out. Though. Oh, I've, I've blacked out and woken up places being like, where am I? <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. You don't know where you are when you wake up in the morning. You're like, how did I get here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that that's scary. Bad, yeah. Some... I got like kicked out of bars. Like I was unwell. Wow. <laughs> you're, getting so, uh... you're getting after it. Oh, I was having the best time. Yeah. Sometimes I've been having like these memories where like, I'll remember me like at some party or in some place. It's in my brain, but I have no clue right where why it was I was or... there or anything like that. Oh my god! And it would, that that kind of stuff where it's like, I just I have this image of my mind being like in a room somewhere, but I have no clue where it was. <laughs> but I know it did happen. That kind of stuff oh, freaks me out. It's so freaky. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm from Alberta, Canada, where the legal drinking age is 18. I grew up in a small town where parties were in random farmer's fields and everyone there was under the legal drinking age. Just thought I'd paint a picture of teenage life in Alberta. When I was 16, I had my first sip of alcohol at a party. And when I say sip, I mean a sip. My parents were never strict and I don't think they even really cared if I drank or not. But after this rebellious act from a goody two shoes, I stayed the night at my friend's house and did not sleep. The guilt was too much to bear. I called my mom at 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday and told her she had to come pick me up. I cried the whole way home, telling her how awful of a child I was. She literally did not care besides the fact that if the party had gotten broken up by cops or something, I'd get in trouble. And I just think that's like such that's a sweet so little funny. story. Oh, That'd be me. I yeah. drank a sip of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Like her lips probably touched in the glass. So yeah. she's like, oh, God. I mean, that is kind of like my first time is like I just felt so guilty. And I was crying the whole yeah, but night. You were like fucked up. Yeah. Do you think you would approach it differently as a parent? What do you mean? Um, about drinking with your kids. Like, you would you ever want your kids to feel that sense of guilt or have a little bit of? Uh... They, I, I, there was no reason for me to feel guilty. My parents were never like, if you drink alcohol, we're gonna like. I just, for whatever reason, just I think it's just you know being Jewish. You just have a lot of guilt about everything. So yeah. I, I don't think it was my parents that made that. I think it was sort of self inflicted, but. Just because I've never been around it, so I had no idea. But I wouldn't, I don't know. That's a good question. Do you think as a parent, you'll be like, listen, buddy, let's have our first beer? Yeah. 
I think so. One I'd thing much I'd... rather have my kids the first time they're ever like drinking for it to be around me. But right. then at the same feel... time, I don't want them to be like so confident where they're like, I drank with my dad, therefore I, <laughs> I can, can party drink, but... and then lean into it more. But I'd rather my kid experience his first like severe hangover and knowing his limits <laughs> under like Years. my care my supervision than him going and doing it at a party and putting himself in danger i just think that like but that's just you know in europe and other countries i mean even canada the legal age is 18 i just feel like when it's not like taken from you right. you don't care as much yeah. like when your yeah. parent tells you no you're gonna want to do it so like, it's yeah. like okay you can't do it until you're 21 but like in europe and stuff they're like 10 and they're like have a glass of wine buddy yeah and, and then like, it doesn't Meh. become don't such a like rebellious and thing yeah. yeah i feel like in my parenting i'll be like listen if you want to drink around me like go ahead i yeah. don't care yeah but like in a way that's not like you know i'm not saying like all your friends drinking. can come over and sure. drink under my watch yeah. no, no 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 like that. yeah but don't be this point. strict I'm like, like militant no. if you have a sip totally. of alcohol before you're 21 you're grounded yeah. strict parents make sneaky kids yes. yeah totally. yes. yes. uh, that's my opinion i know everyone has their own opinion no i think that's that's 100 right percent true yeah, yeah. <laughs> um uh, and one one time I knew someone that said that they wanted to try cigarettes when they were a kid and their parents were like, OK, you want to try a cigarette? Yeah. Got them a pack of cigarettes and said, smoke every single one. Was just the kid just that. sat there that. and smoked like, you know, it's a, Tony the, Robbins. <laughs> is it Tony Robbins? I don't know. No, it, never mind. Never mind. I'm not. I'm, I feel like I'm challenging you. That is a common <laughs> thing of like. Oh, you want to do it? Then have as many as you want, and it gets the person to realize that they don't like yeah, it. Yeah, like if you sit there when you're 14 and smoke a pack of cigarettes, you'll never pick up a cigarette it's like again. Disgusting, yeah. But I don't think that works for that call. I think I don't think if your parents were like, "Here you go, here's nine gin and tonics." Yeah, yeah. Like, like, you die. <laughs> There's seven Palomas. Can we do that again? <laughs> but it was funny because I remember when I was young and I like asked my parents to try the beer. They're like, "Go ahead." Yeah. Do you want to go get some beers October before we film fest. the next episode? <laughs> Should we? Then we'll, we'll, be, then we'll be pissing Halloween. every second. Whoa, I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I have a story from a party I went to in my first year of university. Not sure if this really connects to part blah, blah, blah. Basically, I went to this house party and I ended up drinking a bit too much and hooking up with this guy. Mm. Fast forward to the next morning, I wake up in this random man's bed. Absolutely no recollection of getting there or leaving the party, having to pee so bad. So obviously I grab his comforter and make my way to the bathroom. Now, I don't want to wake anyone up, so I don't turn a single light on even when I'm in the bathroom. Sitting on the toilet, I start feeling a pain on my neck. And when I say pain, I mean I feel like I have just been stung by a million fire ants. So I turn the light on and go to the mirror, and I have the largest hickey that has ever existed. Like, this thing could be in Guinness Records or some shit. She attached a picture. Pictures. Oh, she, Bullsh- okay. she also said the kicker of this entire thing is that I had to go home to my Christian mother the next morning. Oh. The one turtleneck I owned became the only thing I wore for the next four days when I was home. I feel like so many people exaggerate, but this girl, she was like, you can post it in whatever. <gasps> Look at- <laughs> How? Have you seen this? No. It, I'm just laughing at his Oh! <laughs> is what it- the fuck? <gasps> that is a that's bruise. not a hickey what no, the hickey. no but then <laughs> the other side yeah. she got choked no, i feel like no, you have that's, handprints that's over like, here that's that like, is not a hickey that's, that's such a hickey that is a bruise Dude. yeah that looks like that he was going to town on her neck oh my god that looks like like physical but then do you think I she know, would do that like... and then write us an email going it was yeah. a hickey well she doesn't remember what it was but i feel like you'd have yeah. more around your whole neck I don't know. I mean, I'm not a forensic like uh, detective here, but that <laughs> those are hi- those are like those hickeys. are hickeys. They look like hickeys. They're like just they're... <laughs> they're who just does so hickeys? Good. Yeah, corny. Did you guys ever hickeys have a hickey? such a how, I, corny. Inter- how old? Did you see how old she was? No, but it was college. Okay, so. yeah, I guess people are still giving hickeys in college. What is just... the fucking point of that? Yeah, if like you've never hooked up with someone before. <laughs> I know. I think they just. It feels like something for sixth graders. Like, that's ooh, you crazy. Got a hickey. That yeah. going home to your Christian mother. It's not like just a hickey. It's like I know. <laughs> that looks like she survived. Really, it. Like really, like I don't even. It looks like she excuse. survived getting uh, like hung in a town square. Like no, I know it does. <laughs> it looks like rope burn. No, oh my God. Okay. Holy cow. Last one. This I thought was so interesting and fun. In Australia, we have a drinking game called Goon of Fortune. Australia. We... Yeah. Because it's a goon sack. I don't know what that means. Uh, I I'm, I know where this is going. Uh, where is it going? No, where I know. Wait, what is a goon fortune? sack? Well, let me guess where this is okay. going. What's I a know goon a sack? goon sack is like a boxed wine, like Fran- Franzia. Yep. Yeah. All right, okay. let's see. We all stand around a clothesline and clip a goon. 
bagged wine yeah. onto the line. Then we spin it around and whoever it lands on has to drink. It is nasty, which I'm sure the premise of all drinking games are. But like, how funny is that? Hell yeah. That's... I want to do this. You know what we did with boxed wines in, in uh, college? We would have <laughs> uh, during Halloween parties, the frats would build a huge cow, like like a wooden cow. <laughs> like and then put put the boxed wines as udders. Oh, and so during the party, God. you would just go up. But then how you, would you I, slap it? Oh yeah, you would you would no, you would just slap the bag and then you would Oh okay, they were just exposed. drink people if like the line for like the beer line was like too long yep. and you still wanted to get fixed, people would just go under the thing and just <laughs> just that I don't know funny. how many mouths probably touched that, that but I did so it. So many. God, that was, that was the, a hell of a party. I love it. It was Halloween. We yeah. always got bagged wine. We would bring it, we would take it out of the box and like put it in our purse. And then, like, whip it out and be like, let's go. <laughs> and then we're just slapping her all night. I love it. Oh, my gosh. I always love Franzia because it's, like, the cheapest box wine. Yeah. But they, like, on the on the box, they'll be like, it's been in the family for 150 <laughs> yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passed down from generations to generations. Like, yeah. it's the most noble, finest wine, wine. you could be drinking. But it's just coming grapes. from a box. Oh, oh man. What a time. Oh. What a time. Any... Final I mean, thoughts? I'm trying to think of that Halloween party. We took a bus out there. Where Save for it? the next episode. It was on Halloween episode. Farm. It's just, ah, uh, I've just forgot about that party. It was just a good time. Well, there was like multiple places to party. It just sounds <laughs> stupid. Sorry, it's just com- no. coming back to me. Well, it was fun. I feel like we just did party. Yeah. Did reliving, we? Really reliving <laughs> makes, all those memories? Makes me craving really a drink did. right shots, now. Yeah. Shots, shots. I would um, love a nice beer. I would love to do a keg stand. I can't believe neither of you have done a keg stand. This is like going to be really life changing. <laughs> Wait, so would you do it if we got? I, I would. Do I don't a keg really stand know what that means. I know you like hold your legs up. But... You just drink the beer upside down. Yeah, and from the hard? tap directly. Like, will I throw it up? You'll probably spit it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it seems pretty difficult. It's also especially hard when it's like super cold. Yeah, because then it's just your like, body's a, like going I against can't with my gravity. <laughs> <laughs> with your what? We'll do. I got a feeling and cold things hurt uh, it. Really bad. Have you, you ever like... funneled a beer? No, I haven't done like anything. Oh, gosh. I had apple teenies. What are you talking <laughs> we about? We need to bring beer back. I feel like seltzers have kind of taken we over. We make beer great again. Yeah, because even if we got a keg, <laughs> let's make hats. Yeah. Even if you bought a keg, nobody at the party is going to drink from the keg. Oh, I feel oh, like it would be will. a mandatory thing. Like, oh, you have, you can't. Be, yeah, no it'd be BYO. Fun thing. Matt, if I had a keg in my house and cups, that would be the only thing people drink. I hope so. It would be just so easy. It's easier than going into the house, checking what's in the fridge, like. It's just, there's yeah. just a keg. It's easy. Yeah. But, I mean, that's what was so easy about college parties is you'd like pay five bucks yep. for a cup and then Gosh. you'd get beer the whole night and you love... just like drink whatever you can find. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, oh, I love going in. <laughs> You're just like, yeah. like a little like. Please, sir. <laughs> renting a keg for like. That was so fun. And then we getting... would pull into a party barn, which they have in Texas, <laughs> oh. which is a drive through liquor stand. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, I want a keg. You go, which one do you want? <laughs> They bring it out to you and you promise to bring it back the next yeah. day and just bring it. Well, you get Bud Light? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, Bud Light or no, Lone Star. Lone Star, oh, actually. That's aw- yeah, if you ever wanted to like splurge. Get oh, the, I don't want to splurge. You would like up. Lone Star if you lived like, Lone Star was like the, the Bud Texas Light of beer. Texas. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Or Shiner Oh, I Bach. thought you meant like it was like a nicer. We get Shiner Cheer, which is like Shiner Holiday Cheer. It's like their holiday blend beer um, that we would have. Did you guys ever drink Rolling Rock? Oh yeah, yeah. Rolling, Rolling Rock is so cheap. That was what we drank. But it in looks high good in your hand. Yeah, it's so classy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Loved Rolling Rock. I still yeah. Love a Miller High Life. That's the, oh, the Mike champagne loves of beers. The, mm. the champagne of beers. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Um, uh, what I don't understand is how people can drink like Bud Heavy, like heavy beers. Like I'm not like, here for them. Like yeah. Bush Regular. Heavy. It's a lot. It's too much. You like them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can, like, oh. I, don't know. I can drink. I don't know. I can drink. Beer I love guy. Guinness. Guinness oh, too. Oh, I love a bin. I love a Guinness. Oh, Guinness is what's crazy. Like they don't even make me tired. I can drink like ten Guinnesses <laughs> and like keep going. Oh, how do you? But they're so filling. I don't find Guinnesses. Guinnesses are like malty, but I don't find them like as filling as an IPA. They're kind of yeah. just like smooth. I don't like IPAs. And like malty. Yeah, too hoppy. Ugh. And I'm kind of oh, over IPAs. I need that trash stuff. But if you're an alcohol brand and you want to sponsor us, please, by all means, yeah, sponsor this. Yeah, like if this. this didn't do it for you, like we will drink on the podcast <laughs> if we have to. 
Uh, well, that wraps up another episode of Good Influences. Thank, Thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to check up out our last episodes if you haven't catch those um catch catch uh, my, catch I'm, them. I'm terrible with words today no you're fine it's okay uh send us an email get influences podcast at gmail.com yes we post the topics the week that we record which is good influences pod on instagram i believe yeah so mm -hmm. give us a follow on the instagram if you're not already subscribed here definitely do that and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next week. week party on bye party on baby <laughs> uh,